<laughs> a little bit entertained. And uh, our topic tonight will be blue noses, polypurian oxygeus, uh, also known as apuka. Um, I know the to give you a little bit of background is the all the websites and Ori and Daf and all of them has got rake fish and all the species SPP as a, a, a prohibited deep water species. Now, to give you the background is for that to be legal, it's got to be gazetted. And if you look at the gazette, which is approved in the government, it states there prohibited species of rake fish polypyrian americanus in brackets so they specify which rake fish is um, uh, uh, prohibited so it's only the one the other two it's not included so it's a print error the same as a print error for the closing date of the system brass that's on the system for ori and and uh, death uh, the Gazette says the one date and <clears throat> date differ and the two differs with one month. So um, I did my homework on the situation and that's why we target these fish. The the grouper are, are uh, in abundance. <laughs> it will blow your mind and it's, it's, it's hard to target uh, blue noses without catching a grouper. And these things, the Polypyrian Oxygeus world record is 37 point something, caught in New Zealand. Um, <laughs> we we outshine that one with about 18 kilos with a 55.9, 55.9 kilo rock on. That's what we could lift and that, that one broke four. Four of us handled it to get it to the top and so forth so we didn't claim it as a record because one angler didn't fight it to the top and um, I just feel that you know this type of information that I share with you guys you know I've worked 18 years in going to the deep fitting the bowl for it getting my boat out for it and it's absolute passion uh, for me to catch these fish and I would like to share it and so forth, but it's going to be on a pay event. So if the people are willing to pay and there's enough people that's, that's, that's willing to come to the parties so we can fill the fuel and pay the expenses of the boat, then I'm going to open up the deep reefs for the guys and show them exactly what, what the reefs looks like, which direction do they run, where's your drops off, where's your cracks in the reef. And um, the guys with electric reels and the guys with serious jigging reels, I'm not talking about 5,000 or something like that. I'm talking about 10,000 to 25,000, 30,000 uh, uh, multipliers there, what do you call it? Um, the Saragos, the BGs, and those things. My intention is to go down there and. Um, try a little bit of vertical jigging. Uh, uh, we're working hand in hand with a company in Cape Town that makes these lures and um, they've made a couple of lures for us for these things. We're busy um, negotiating with a supplier um, to, to borrow the proper stuff for us, let us test it. They say they want us to test it. Um, test these vertical rigging outfits on the deep water and so forth. Now, um, in the 17 years, I've got a lot of photos of all of these fish. I'll, I'll try and post them so you guys can see what, what this really is about because what the guys saw that we caught is, is <laughs> it's not even a tenth of, of what what we hook out there and 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 get it it's 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 really mind blowing and I mean there's there's not a lot of guys that fishes 
will go over 100 meters, go 200 meters fishing. We, we talking going really, really, really deep here, you know. It's time consuming. The consideration is to basically try and rig the boat out with permanent cameras as a, <coughs> as a learning vessel. So you, you'll do your charters because you've got to earn your money. But um, my aim is to, to put a lot of cameras on the boat and um, be, let anybody hook on to, um, to the boat any time of the day live. Uh, that's the ultimate aim that we're working on. And um, I think it will be nice. The guys, the experienced fishermen would know where we're fishing and you know you can always see the GPS with a camera and everything like that. We're not yet to hide things away. Um, we've changed our attitude to f be fishermen friendly and um, try and help the guys and show the guys what we've got in our ocean and to enjoy the sport. You know, this all goes about uh, how much you enjoy what you are doing when you're out on the ocean. So um, I'm going to start off with <coughs> with the reefs, how, how we found the reefs and so forth, you know, and then what to look for, how to set your fish finders and all of those things. And then uh, I hope there's enough people because if I've got 40 or 50 people that's interested in it. That's not that's not worth it. Yeah, you know what? Um, there's a cut off that we need of 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 people that's that interested in information like this. It's 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 quite valuable information. Uh, simply the best. It's one of the few boats that catches these things. She's the first boat that was capable of catching blue noses off the coast of Durban. And um, it's actually it's actually very easy if you know what you're looking for. So I'm looking forward to my my previous post. I've posted a picture of a film of how the blue nurses looks. Guy caught it. It's very important that if you're interested in that thing, just in instead of just putting a like where you click for like, just hold the button for a while. Then there'll come an option of a couple of things up there. Just press on the heart. That way I'll know, okay, those guys are really interested in, in this information. Because it will be a pay event, which is nothing. It's fourteen nine ninety nine, And the whole day will be a pay event. So you register as a pay event. When we go out, we show you everything that, that we can. And we make it as uh, valuable as possible and give you as much information as what we can. <laughs> so we're working on a couple of things in the pipeline just you know to move a little, little bit, bit away from from just the normal fishing. We'd, we'd like a little bit more excitement in life. We're having some really crappy weather so Got the ground. They're sitting on the floor. 